So uh, there's new reporting this morning that over the past year, Tesla's market value has plunged more than $600 billion. $600 billion more than the current values of Disney, Nike, and Starbucks combined. Welcome back to CNN This Morning. Tesla's market value has taken a huge hit this year. Around this time a year ago, the company's value was around $1.2 trillion. By the end of the day yesterday, it sat at $580 billion. Those numbers are from Forbes, and that's, you know, do the math, more than a $600 billion decline. To put this loss into perspective, and it's not like a paper loss, but you know what we're talking about, the share price here. Disney is currently worth about $180 billion, Nike around $167 billion, Starbucks $114 billion. Let's bring in our friend Peter Shankman. He is a futurist at the marketing company Blue Shark Digital. It's good to have you here. Good to be here. So obviously, I, I don't know how I got through that intro without saying Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't Elon Musk be paying attention to Has Tesla? Has he been preoccupied yes. with another T company? I'm trying to one, run one company on my own. He's running, what, four right yeah. now? It, you know, th there are several issues at play here. The first one, from a fiduciary standpoint, is if you are spending all your time creating memes, Right. And mm -hmm. and arguing with politicians uh, publicly, you're not running your businesses. So from a Tesla standpoint, yeah, if I were a, a shareholder, but they I'd had be him very on the angry. stand. The shareholders had him on the stand in this trial last right. week because they're mad. They are. And they, it's, look, it's hard to prove that he's not working for Tesla. But what they can say is, hey, you stole engineers from Tesla to bring him into Twitter. That's a problem. If he were if he were Tesla's way overvalued, it's been way overvalued for a long time. There's no question about that. But if he was smart, He'd say, "Okay, it's overvalued. It's going to drop. Let me just be quiet for a while." And he'd let it go, and and it would come. He'd come out on the other side. He's not doing that. He's doing everything possible to draw more attention to himself. What was your analogy when we talked about this in the break? He said, "So I have a dog. His name is Waffle. He's two years hey, old. Waffle, right? He's the dog I told my daughter I'd never get. So every time he does something stupid, he steals a steak off the off the off the table, whatever. He goes and eats it, and he looks at me. I'm like, "Oh, who stole the steak?" And he, Hello." Right? Yeah. It's like if he didn't look at me, he's like, oh, don't know, not me. Maybe I wouldn't pay attention to it, and it would, we'd move on. Yeah. Same thing with, with Tesla and Twitter. He's not giving anyone a chance to forget about him for a um, moment. What, what is it with these guys? I'm sorry. No, what is go, it with go. these guys? Why, they, they can't help themselves. They've never been told no. It's always Go guys. Okay. They've you, never been by told the no. Yeah, they've, yeah. Never, they've surrounded themselves with people who have always yes them. And so all of a sudden, people are arguing with him or you know, making a fool of him. I mean, he's, he's the number one joke on Reddit right now. Right. Mm. So and he can't handle that. That's not OK. So what does he do? He gets back. He had let me let me buy Twitter and then I can have my platform yeah. to say whatever I want. But he doesn't realize that this is drastically affecting his other business. He's also forty four billion dollars, not as rich. Exactly. OK, right. Well, a billion but here, a billion there. It adds up to real money. I am hesitant to. Uh, underestimate Elon Musk just because of wh what he has done. So we'll see. We'll see. But right now it doesn't look good. However, an interesting point about the $44 billion, it wasn't all his money. There are a lot of no. lenders here. And as I understand it, the debt to finance this is backed up by Tesla. Yeah. So Tesla could take an even bigger hit if this goes under? Well, his shares, yeah. His shares uh, in Tesla, I mean, he's, he's already sold an additional $3 billion. Um, there's more coming. So, yeah, it, it, everything, when everything's linked that closely, I wouldn't want to invest in something linked that closely to other things and to him not being quiet. Because, again, it stops being about the company and it starts being about him and you can't continually have a good company when it's only about one person mm. regardless of whether they're good or bad something he could get hit by a bus right it doesn't matter it has to diversify Let's hope that. not right should we and talk about not. boomerang ceos Boomer, meaning Bob I, the Bob Iger. Is that what they're called now? Boomerang CEOs. Like helicopter parents. This is what our smart producers told us this morning. Well, yeah, the guy's coming back. So Iger at Disney, then it was Steve Jobs, Howard Schultz at Starbucks. There's, we have more yeah. on the list. Are they usually successful when they come back? It depends. I mean, Steve Jobs is obviously a, a standout story, right? He came back and took Apple from, from the brinks of bankruptcy to what it is today. Mm -hmm. But it, it depends on why they're doing it. I think in Disney's case, they didn't have a choice. Right. This this was what the first thing that that he did was put control back into the creatives. Right. And that was taken away from them. And that was a problem. They it clearly hurt them. Right. So putting control back into the creatives. Disney is a creative company. At the end of the day, the things they make are creative and you give the control back to the creatives. I think that, if nothing else, will help tremendously. So uh, but listen, I mean, 
somebody smart somewhere because on Monday with Disney stock rose of course nine percent, but it was down roughly thirty six percent of its value yeah. this year. So. so and look, everything is right. I wouldn't blame that entirely on Disney. The entire market's down. It's not right? all chafing. It's not all. No. So, so uh, over time, I think what we're going to see is a nine percent is a nice bump, right? And I think investors are patiently. Cautiously it's optimistic. A it's, 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 it's a confidence, the confidence bump. Yeah, right, it's right, a right. confidence bump. So let's see what happens. And if, if we start looking, I mean, you're going to take 9 to 12 months, 24 months. You know, you're not going to have a new Toy Story next week. Yeah. Right? So let's give it a little time. Can I ask you something? What does it take, I mean, for a board to do something like this? Is this, I mean, because what you I'm here. to oust Iger? To, to oust Chapek and then bring oh, back sorry, the uh, other guy. Oust Chapek, It's kind yeah. of a... It, it gets the it's a it's a frustration panel, right? You have one or two uh, uh, board members after the meeting. They're walking out, and one goes, "This is BS. This is ridiculous." And the other one, "Yeah, but what can we do? Well, we can do so. Let's come here. Let's talk about." It. And it, all of a sudden, it spreads, yeah. right? And these decisions, you might say they're reached really uh, deeply, but I guarantee you, this was probably twelve hours, yeah. twelve hours from start to finish. Real yeah, quick. because they it, it spreads like wildfire. They all start talking to each other. All of a sudden, you have a conference call. They're back in the they're back in the conference room. Twelve hours later, okay, let's just do this. Do you think Chapek knew? I think he had an idea. You can't, you can't do this and not have an idea. Okay. I think that, but look, again, he's walking away with quite the package. Yeah. He's okay. not too worried. That's fine. That's, that's my next question is, so this is all about palace intrigue. These guys are all rich. They're going to be fine. Exactly. What does this mean for the average person as it relates to Disney, you know, the theme park, maybe they have it in their portfolio. I, I don't know. What does it mean? Also the employees of Disney. Yeah. Right. I mean, the employees, right. Again, I don't think, unlike Musk walking into Twitter and, and, and axing 75% of the staff, I don't think the average employee at Disney is going to feel this. I don't think the theme park people are going to feel this. I don't think the, the, the animators are going to feel this. I think that what's going to happen is he's going to say, okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's working and what's not. And over the next six to 12 months, we'll start to see a difference. But it's not going to happen tomorrow. They're going to have a good Christmas, nothing like that. What are you looking forward to eating today? I am going to my parents' house with my daughter, and my mom makes a pumpkin bread oh, for the past 20 years. Is waffles? Oh, is oh my waffle God. Is I will bring waffles and pumpkin bread, say. but no, waffle is not waffle. Why not? Because he waffle. ate a steak off my table two nights ago. <laughs> waffle, put waffle, bring a crate. Or... No one puts waffle in my the corner. My parents have a hat named Broadway, and Broadway and waffle do not get along. Oh, my God. Your life is. Oh, waffle. Thank you. Happy Sorry, Thanksgiving. Waffle. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to waffle as well. <laughs>